Ryu, a legend in the history of fighting games all around the world. We'll cover everything you need to know about Ryu, information on his stage, music, and voice actors, as well as his origins and timeline. How does he relate to Akuma, the holy grail of Ryu? Without further ado, let me welcome you to the Fighterverse. We will start with the concept of Ryu. According to fandom, Ryu is influenced by Masutatsu Oyama and Yoshiji Soeno of Karate Master, also known as Karate Baka Ichidai. Masutatsu founded Gyokushin Karate, the first and most influential style of full contact karate. When Ryu tells the story of the first street fighter in his backstory entry, it pays homage to the fictional story of Karate Master, in which Masutatsu takes his students to Thailand to take on the toughest foes. Originally created by Takashi Nishiyama, Ryu bears his creator's name. Originally, he was going to be called Ryuichi, but they shortened it to Ryu in the end. Ryu's name translated in English means dragon, and Sagat's theme is tiger. The dragon is synonymous with the sky and the spirit, also the yang affinity. The tiger resembles earth and matter, and the yin affinity. Ryu's fighting stance in Street Fighter resembles full contact karate. However, Ryu was given a different stance in Street Fighter 2, which was inspired by Bruce Lee's fighting stance in Enter the Dragon. Akiman made this change, as he wanted Ryu to have a pose that wasn't traditional karate. Manabu Takemura also played a role in Ryu's creation. He wanted Ryu to symbolize a true Japanese martial artist. Takemura didn't like Ryu's thin physique in the first game, so he made Ryu more muscular. Ryu's hair was longer in the first game, but Akiman didn't find that hair length cool in his sprite, so he gave Ryu a shorter hair, which then became his default look. Regarding the appearance of Ryu, his most recognizable attire consists of a white karate gi with the sleeves torn off, medium length hair, a long red headband, a black martial arts belt, and bare feet, a choice he makes of his own, believing it to be more comfortable. In many of his appearances, Ryu carries around a large white duffel bag, containing items important to his travels, such as clothing, plane tickets, passports, and local currency. Ryu's most iconic Japanese game voice actors. The voice of Ryu and its actors have changed over the years. We will mention in this list of voice actors and gaming only involved, Sadly, the first Street Fighter and the second Street Fighter, Ryu's voice is unknown. We will start with Katashi Ishizuka. Voice actor for the Street Fighter Alpha 1 and 2, X-Men vs. Street Fighter, Street Fighter EX series, Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter. The next one is Soichiro Hoshi. Hadouken! Shinku! Voice actor for Super Puzzle Fighter 2, Turbo, and Pocket Fighter, Wataru Takagi. Hadouken! Voice actor for the Street Fighter 3, New Generation and Second Impact, Toshiyuki Morikawa. His voice acted Ryu in Marvel vs. Capcom 1 and 2, Street Fighter Alpha 3, and others. Next on our list is Toru Okawa. Zits! Voice actor for Street Fighter 3, Third Strike. And next on our list is Vincent Tong. <laughs> Voice actor for Puzzle Fighter. And last but not least, Hiroki Takashi. <laughs> he voiced in Street Fighter 4 and 5, Marvel vs. Capcom 3, Asura's Wrath, Street Fighter Tekken, Project X Zone 1 and 2, and Super Smash Bros. If there's one thing we love about Ryu, it's his fight for your life music. As soon as the round starts, the melodic undertone prepares you for battle. But did you ever wonder who created this epic and nostalgic melody that we all grew to cherish and love? Well, it comes from the legendary music producer Yoko Shimomura. She was one of the main musical composers for the Street Fighter 2 series. Some of Shimomura's most recognized works can be seen in titles like Kingdom Hearts, Parasite Eve, Breath of Fire, and others. Shimomura's music served as a template for the company's future Street Fighter games. In case you're wondering, where are the Hadouken and Ryu's special moves? Well, not to worry, we have a video that explains the Hadouken, the Satsumaki, and the Shoryuken in greater detail. The link will be in the description box down below. <laughs>
Ryu was orphaned when he was a young child and has no memory of his parents or whether they are alive. He was found and adopted by a man named Goken, who raised Ryu in a secluded dojo and trained Ryu in the ways of his martial arts. Sometime afterwards, Goken would later train his best friend's spoiled son, Ken Masters. Ken served not only as a sparring partner, but also gave Ryu a friend in the form of a boy of his own age. Ryu looked up to Goken as a father figure and regards Ken as his best friend and surrogate brother, a relationship which remains to this day. When Ryu turned 23 years old, Goken believed that Ryu was ready to travel the world in order to test and hone his martial skills against the best fighters from around the world. After Ryu and Ken's training was complete, Ken casually asks Ryu which of the two will be recognized as a reputable martial artist first. While Ken goes to the USA, Ryu enters the World Warrior Tournament and travels to Thailand alone. The story goes that Sagat holds the first World Warrior Tournament to prove that he was the god of Muay Thai. After all, he had defeated all of his challengers, and to also prove he is the strongest man in the world. Word came across that a young Asian martial artist named Ryu had defeated a great quantity of Muay Thai fighters. Looking for a challenge, Ryu and Sagat fight against each other. During the fight, something dark wakes up inside of Ryu, attacks Sagat with a shoryuken, and leaves a massive scar on his chest, nearly killing him in the act. The story follows that Ryu imposes victory over the menacing Muay Thai fighter, Sagat. Meanwhile, Sagat, swearing vengeance on Ryu for his loss, an allegedly updated version of this event, takes that Sagat was winning the fight. It states that Sagat tried to help Ryu from the floor, when suddenly Ryu's dark hado kicks in and takes a cheap shot against Sagat and defeats him. Sagat becomes insane and then is recruited by M. Bison for the Shadow Loop. In the Street Fighter Alpha series, Ryu, after becoming the strongest fighter in the world, encounters and fights Akuma on a secluded island known as Gogento and wins. However, Akuma was only testing him and senses that Ryu has the same powers as he does. He proceeds to tell Ryu about the Satsui no Hado, a power that consumes the practitioners of their shared fighting style, driving them to win even when it means killing the opponent. Akuma then uses his fist to smash the island, leaving Ryu stranded. Sometime after escaping the island, Ken finds Ryu. He asks Ken what it means to be a true fighter. He wonders if he should use the same fist he used to defeat Sagat or the one Akuma uses to murder people. Ken sees that Ryus has gone back to his usual bad habit of overthinking things and fights him as an attempt to wake him up. After defeating Ryu, Ken realizes that he has been deeply troubled since his last victory over Sagat. He reminds Ryu to keep fighting in order to find the answers and gives him his red hairband and that whenever he feels lost, he should use it as a reminder of their fight and to keep fighting to find the answer. Ryu happily takes the headband and they both go their separate ways. Soon thereafter, a fan of his named Sakura comes up and expresses her desire to train under him. Ryu replies that he himself still has much to learn about, but allows Sakura to take a picture of him for now. At some point, Ryu is found by Sagat, who is out for a grudge match. Ryu protests that Sagat hasn't fully recovered from their last bout, but Sagat persists. Ryu lets Sagat win rather than do any further damage, and Sagat leaves. Only later, Upon reflection, does Sagat realize that Ryu held back, vowing to fight him again? Ryu continues to be troubled by what Akuma had told him, compounded by his encounter with Rose, who has intricate ties to M. Bison. She tells him that he cannot defeat Bison unless he fights him at the cost of his soul. True to form, when Ryu confronts Bison, he is defeated despite putting up a valiant fight. Bison takes the semi-conscious Ryu and begins brainwashing him, using the revelation that the Satsui no Hado is akin to Bison's own psycho power. This scene is interrupted by the entrance of Sagat, Ken, and Sakura. While Ken and Sakura distract Bison, Sagat fights to brainwash Ryu, quickly noticing the effects Bison's brainwashing has had on him. At Sagat's urging, Ryu comes to his senses to confront and defeat Bison, destroying him temporarily. In Street Fighter 2, during the World Warrior Tournament, Ryu enters to test his skills and defeats many of the new warriors. He encourages Ken to re-enter as well. It is said, it is unknown how far Ryu himself progressed in the tournament. It is also said that Ryu, avoiding Bison's flaming remnants after his body was destroyed by Akuma, hinting that Ryu made it to the finals. In Street Fighter 4, after the second World Warrior Tournament, 
Ryu continued his journey and ended up in an isolated desert where he trained. Ryu then remembers his argument with the Kuma, with the Kuma urging Ryu to give into the Dark Hado, or else he will kill him. Ryu then leaves the desert and goes to a bar where he meets a biker. The biker then tells him a story about an American martial arts champion who abandoned his family. Believing it to be Ken, Ryu visits the house of the said champion, but it's ambushed by Sea Viper. Suddenly, the Delta Red agent Kami then attempts to ambush Sea Viper. However, Kami was also no match for Viper, and Viper then tortures Kami, which the Dark Hado then takes over Ryu and engages Sea Viper, but would easily defeat her. Luckily for Viper, she manages to escape the possessed Ryu. Angered, Ryu then slaughters multiple SIN scientists who witness the fight until Ken and Sakura arrive to save Ryu and help Kami. Sakura would then retain the possessed Ryu as Ken calls the hospital to help Kami. Ryu would then regain his consciousness and realize what he has done. After being sent to Ken's mansion, Ryu realizes he has been targeted by SIN and its leader Seth for their evil plans. With Gauss' plans to infiltrate Seth's cruise ship to incarcerate him, Ryu then tags along knowing that Seth would be waiting for him. After traveling to the base, Ryu and Ken then dispatch multiple SIN thugs before Ryu encounters Seth himself. Ryu and Seth then engage, with Seth easily overpowering Ryu and giving him his twisted philosophy of power. Ryu then admits that he never understood what power is, and that he understands Seth's philosophy by stating that the power he describes is not what he's after. Seth, unamused, continues beating up Ryu before Ryu awakens a new power and nearly kills Seth with it. Ryu then collapses from this power. A few days later, Ryu and Ken then part ways, with Ryu stating that they will meet again. On the continuation of Street Fighter 4, Ryu then enters into a new tournament to further master his skills as well as reunite with his long mate friend, Ken, for another rematch. During his journey, he meets up with Sakura, whom he encouraged to train harder. Meanwhile, Ryu also meets up with Sagat once more. The two fight, and while the result of the fight is unknown, it is implied that Ryu won. During the final round with the tournament host Seth, actually a copy of him, he defeats him in the SIN headquarters. During and after this battle, the building fell around them as Ryu unleashed the Satsui no Hado on the Blaze Machine, a weapon of mass destruction developed by SIN that harnessed the energy in the human body. During this event, Sakura, who has been searching for Ryu, finds him and the Bleak's machine, and a pulse of energy from it knocks her into a wall. Ryu defends her by unleashing a Shoryuken on the machine, and they leave the building together, the weapon destroyed. He then encounters Goken, who has in fact survived his last battle with the Kuma, and Goken uses the power of nothingness to seal the Satsui no Hado, which is eating at Ryu, knocking him unconscious. Akuma then arrives on the scene to challenge his brother for a death duel, the winner of which will claim Ryu. The outcome of the duel is unknown, but since Ryu is later seen free of the Dark Hado's influence, it is very likely that either Goken won or the battle ended in a draw, possibly interrupted. Later, Ryu and Ken chase their long-lost master along a cliff face, with Ken wanting Goken to stick around while Ryu wishes him well. Afterwards, he and Ken are walking through the desert while Rufus mocks them on his motorcycle, though it later breaks down and he is left pushing it while Ryu and Ken drive by in Ken's jeep. Ryu later bids Sakura farewell as she, Dan, and Blanca leave for a home on a cruise ship. Sometime later, having decided that his battles have made him stronger, he meets a no older Sakura. What happens next is unknown. Although Goken might have taught Ryu the Shin Shoryuken and the Denji Hadoken at some point before Street Fighter 3. In Street Fighter 5, Ryu in his dream is fighting against his evil self, claiming to him that the power to kill will make him stronger, which he ultimately rejects. Goken is in a sparring match during the incident. Ryu charges himself into the Satsui no Hado and attempts to hit his master with a single Hadoken. It explodes in a flash of light. Ryu wakes up from his dream with Goken telling him that the Satsui no Hado almost consumed him. Rashid and Asam find Ryu, introducing himself as a hero who travels the world. Goken questions Rashid why he comes to see Ryu. Rashid states he wants to challenge Ryu in a match, which is to test his mettle. Ryu doesn't immediately get up to fight, worrying about the Satsui no Hado, which confuses Rashid and has Goken questioning him why he didn't do it, citing Ryu's quote, the answer lies in the heart of battle. Ryu eventually gets up and spars with Rashid, resulting in a victory. Rashid learns from the fight about himself. He thanks Ryu for the lesson and leaves. Ryu decides that he should leave too, and better understand his power. Goken tells Ryu to meet Ken, who has been concerned about him. Ryu and Ken finally meet in Brazil, 
Ken was told by Goken about Ryu's struggle with the Satsui no Hado and thinks a good match can solve it. Afterwards, Ryu still worries about the Satsui no Hado. Ken reassures Ryu that if Ryu falls over to the dark side, he'll take him down and stop it. Ken tells Ryu to just relax and fight. Ryu goes to China and gets ambushed by a Shadow Lu soldier. Nash comes in and takes down the soldier. Nash expected to see Ryu, which triggers a bit of Satsui no Hado within him. Nash says that they have to fight so he can understand the power and know its limits. The fight ultimately ends in a draw. Nash is surprised by the power, having it surpass his expectations. Ryu tells him that he tries to suppress the power and struggles with it but has decided to not let it take him over, which Nash respects. Ryu thanks him for the fight and Nash leaves. A shadow falls. Ryu meets with Dalsim and says he is still struggling with the Satsui no Hado and needs help. They decide to have a spar. After the spar, Dalsim tells him that suppressing the power will eventually lead the power to consuming him. He tells him that he needs to face the Hado and conquer it. Nikali drops down from above, looking to consume fighters' souls. Dalsim defends Mahesh while Ryu fights Nikali. Nikali overpowers Ryu, which almost triggers his dark power. Dalsim takes Ryu's punch, proclaiming that he cannot let the Hado take him over. Dalsim fights off Nikali. Ryu notices a black moon veering over and blocking the sun, which gives him visions of M. Bison. Nikali eventually melts away temporarily. He is told about Nikali by Dalsim, telling him that Nikali is an ancient being that consumes warriors' souls and only appears when many warriors are needed in a crisis. Ryu concludes that the world is in crisis because of the Black Moons. Ryu finally joins up with Ken, Chun-Li, and Garing as they team up to make a final assault against Shadow Lu. As Chun-Li defeats Fang while rescuing Li Fen, Ryu finally faces off against Bison, who is ready to challenge him, and Ryu states that his strength was to push forward and he is ready to fight him too. After an epic long battle, Bison isn't giving up yet, until Ryu hits him with the Hadoken, infused with the power of nothingness, seemingly hinting at Ryu's mastery of the power and sublimation of the Satsui no Hado. Bison's body begins to crack as it dissipates in a flash of light, defeating the madman. As the base is about to be destroyed, Ryu, Guile, Chun-Li, and Li Fen escape. Chun-Li is slow to catch up, so Ryu uses his Denjin Hadoken to stop the fires from the explosion. After the incident, Ryu is meditating. Ken visits him for the second time. He challenges him for a friendly sparring match. As he tells Ryu to prove if he already found his answer, Ryu is able to defeat Ken, as Ken also manages to knock Ryu's red headband. As it falls on the ground, Ryu realizes that he already found the answer to his true strength. As he gets his headband, Ken is happy to see his friend has grown, and Ryu also says that he still needs his headband for the battle. The two are later seen having a friendly fist bump with each other. In the Street Fighter 3, at the age of 33, Ryu continues his traveling day to day with the aim of becoming a true warrior. Since Ken is now the father of a child, their relationship has deteriorated. After a long time from being home in Japan, he is summoned to a hot spring inn where Ken wishes to meet him and introduces him to his new student, Shan Matsuda. Ryu enters the third World Warrior Tournament to further advance his fighting abilities. His most notable fight during the tournament is against Hugo, who is able to withstand his Shin Shoryuken and hold his own. He continues his travels afterward meeting Oro along the way. Ryu ends up being defeated by Oro, who likes him to be his successor. Ryu later fights against Shan, who has been asked by Ken to fight him. Ryu easily defeats him from time to time, with just a single Hadoken, as he noticed his actions. Ryu also serves as Hugo's pro wrestling tag team partner for a brief period of time before moving on, also shown in Hugo's storyline. A year later, Ryu meets up with Ken for a friendly match in the latter storyline, from which he emerges the victor. At some point, he encounters Alex, whom he solidly defeats. Ryu encourages the young wrestler to continue honing his abilities against strong opponents. Fascinated by Ryu's skill and determined to become stronger, Alex soon sets out to find Ryu for a rematch. In Oros' ending, Ryu is shown training, but is unaware of Oros' presence as he has only heard his voice. In his ending, Ryu is under a waterfall practicing his mind and body. He mumbles about the meaning of a true warrior, why he needs to be strong, and reminisces his youthful days. A single leaf falls over him, and he crushes the leaf with his left hand. Ryu believes that as long as his strong opponents and some fierce battles will excite him, he will possess the strength to move even one of his fingers and decides to keep on fighting. In Street Fighter VI, Ryu recently completed his training overseas and decided to return to Japan to further hone his skills 
at the prestigious Genbu Temple. The temple's wise priest extended an invitation to Ryu, asking him to participate in a traditional festival by shouldering a portable shrine. Meanwhile, word spread among fighters, including Luke and Lily, that Ryu had resumed his training at Genbu Temple, prompting them to pay him a visit with the intention of challenging him. During his stay in Japan, Ryu had learned about his old friend Ken's situation through a mutual acquaintance. However, Ryu made a conscious decision not to involve himself, understanding that Ken must have his valid reasons for choosing not to reach out. This demonstrates Ryu's respect for Ken's personal choices and circumstances. Sharing his plans with the Avatar, Ryu expressed his intention to remain in Japan for the foreseeable future, dedicating himself to his training and further exploring his martial arts journey within the familiar surroundings of his home country. Our first fact of the day is related to an old quiz game the company Capcom developed. It is not uncommon for video game characters to have different names or backstories, depending on the region or the specific game they appear in. Such is the case with Ryu from Street Fighter, whose full name is given as Ryu Takegami in the Japanese version of the Capcom arcade quiz game Quiz and Dragons. However, it's important to note that this name has never been referenced in any other media, including the main Street Fighter games or the anime and manga adaptations. Therefore, it's unlikely that Capcom considers this Ryu's official name, and it's possible that it was just a one-off reference or easter egg in Quiz and Dragons. That being said, it's interesting to speculate on what the name Takegami might imply about Ryu's character or backstory. In Japanese, Takegami can be translated as Bamboo God or God of Bamboo, which could suggest Ryu has a spiritual or mystical connection to nature or traditional Japanese culture. Alternatively, Takegami could be interpreted as reference to Ryu's fighting style or philosophy. Bamboo is known for its resilience and flexibility, which are also important qualities for a martial artist. Perhaps Ryu's mastery of the martial arts is compared to the way bamboo bends, but does not break in the face of adversity. Regardless of what the name Takegami might mean, it's clear that Ryu remains one of the most iconic and recognizable characters in video game history. Known for his powerful moves, his stoic demeanor, and his unwavering dedication to his craft. If you think that one's interesting, well check these ones out. Ryu's character in the Street Fighter series is known for his simplistic yet mysterious personality, often leaving fans to wonder about his likes, dislikes, and personal beliefs. However, the Street Fighter 3 Q&A from Gamist's Street Fighter 3 fanbook provides some interesting insights into Ryu's preferences and plans for the future. When asked what type of woman he likes, Ryu's response is rather unexpected. Women who look good in spring in Japan. This answer could be interpreted in several ways, but it seems to suggest that Ryu is attracted to women who embody the beauty and renewal of springtime, perhaps symbolizing purity, vitality, and growth. Oddly enough, if we look into the meaning of Chun-Li's name, translated means beautiful spring spring. There's a correlation there if you ask me. Another question in the Q&A asks whether Ryu would consider being a dojo once he retires from fighting. The response is that he might think about it, but he has no intention of raising a successor. The answer reflects Ryu's independent and self-reliant nature, as well as his focus on personal growth and development rather than passing on his skills to others. Interestingly, the book also reveals that the rucksack Ryu carries with him contains spare clothes he can change into. This detail may seem insignificant, but it adds to Ryu's image as a nomadic warrior who travels light and is always prepared for any situation. Overall, these tidbits of information give us a glimpse into Ryu's inner world and personal values, while still leaving plenty of room for interpretation and speculation. Yoshinori Ono, the former producer of the Street Fighter series, is known for injecting fun and quirky personality traits into the game's characters. One such example is Ryu's arachnophobia, which was revealed by Ono himself and has been referenced in various games over the years. The fear of spiders is a common phobia, and it's not surprising that even a skilled warrior like Ryu might have a weakness or fear. Ono has mentioned that Ryu's arachnophobia is meant to add a humanizing element to the character and make him more relatable to players. Ryu's fear of spiders is emphasized in his introduction quote when facing off against Spider-Man in Marvel vs. Capcom 3. In the game, Ryu says, Spiders. I hate spiders. Indicating that he is uneasy about facing a foe who is associated with spiders. This line was also included in the updated version of the game, Marvel vs. Capcom 3 Fate of Two Worlds and has become a memorable part of Ryu's dialogue. Nevertheless, it is a testament to Ono's creativity and attention to detail that he was able to add such a unique personality trait to one of the most iconic characters in gaming history. It shows that even legendary warriors like Ryu can have their own personal fears and weaknesses. The Susaku Castle, which translated means 
the Vermilion Bird Castle, is a large feudal age castle located in Japan. The Vermilion Bird is one of the four symbols of the Chinese constellations. According to Wuxing, the Taoist five elemental system represents the fire element, the direction south, and the season summer correspondingly. The Vermilion Bird is a mythological spirit creature of the Chinese constellations. It is described as a red bird that resembles a pheasant with a five-colored plumage and is perpetually covered in flames. Compared to other Street Fighter stages, the Susako Castle is considered to be one of the most famous Street Fighter stages in all its franchise. The Susako Castle is where Ryu trained as a child. Ryu's stage is on the rooftops of the Susako Castle, being roughly around 33 feet above ground. Ryu's stage has breakable signs if impacted by an opponent or during battle. The signs have a reading called the Furinkasan, which translated means Wind Forest Fire Mountain. The Furinkasan is a popularized version of the battle standard used by the Sengoku period, Daimyo Takeda Shingen. The banner quoted four phrases from Sun Tzu, The Art of War. As swift as wind, as gentle as forest, as fierce as fire, as unshakable as mountain. Sun Tzu was a Chinese general, military strategist, writer, and philosopher who lived in the Eastern Shou period of ancient China. Sun Tzu is traditionally credited as the author of The Art of War, an influential work of military strategy that has affected both Western and East Asian philosophy and military thinking. His works focus much more on alternatives to battle, such as stratagem, delay, the use of spies, and alternatives to war itself, the making and keeping of alliances, the uses of deceit, and a willingness to submit, at least temporarily, to more powerful foes. The Furinkasan signs are only present on the original Street Fighter II, Hyper's Street Fighter II, the Anniversary Edition, and the Ultra Street Fighter II, the Final Challengers. A fun fact, the same message can be seen in Ryu's belt in some of his appearances. In some versions, bats can be seen flying at night on the Susaku stage. The Susaku Castle stage can also be seen on Street Fighter 3, Third Strike, being Ryu stage. The castle in Super Street Fighter 2, Turbo Revival, appeared like the one in the Third Strike. A fun fact, in Super Street Fighter 2, Turbo Revival, it featured the same Susaku Castle, but with a red colored version, which was used by Akuma since they didn't have a stage for himself. The Susaku Castle appears in the background of the Street Fighter Alpha 3 as Ryu's Gengu Bugahara stage. The castle can be seen on the top of the mountains. In Street Fighter 5, the Susaku Castle has the same Street Fighter 2 appearance, but with better graphics and design. It is said that Ryu Susaku's castle is based on Matsue Castle in the Shimane Prefecture of Japan. It is one of the few castles left standing in Japan in its original form. Matsue Castle is one of few remaining feudal Japan castles in their original, wooden form, and not a modern concrete reconstruction. Built after the last Great War of feudal Japan, the castle has survived earthquakes, fires, wars, and other causes that destroyed or damaged other Japanese castles. The castle is a complex structure, built in a watchtower style, that appears to be five stories from the outside but has, in fact, six levels inside. Most of the walls of the castle are painted black. It is a strong structure, built to withstand warfare. Yet at the same time, it is majestic and solemn reminiscent of the Momoyama style. The ornate castle architecture and interiors of the Momoyama period were a reflection of both a feudal lord's power and a new aesthetic sense. During the Momoyama period, Japan underwent a process of unification after a long period of civil war, and rulers like Oda Nobunaga and Toyotomi Hideyoshi built castles as symbols of their power. Typically, castles built during this period consisted of a central tower, or denshu, surrounded by gardens and fortified buildings. The dark interiors of castles were often decorated by artists, and the spaces were separated using slided fusuma panels and viewable folding screens. The ornate castle architecture and interiors, adorned with painted screens, embellished with gold leaf, 
marked clear departure from the somber monotones favored during the previous Muromachi period. The shoin style, or a style of Japanese residential architecture, that forms the basis of today's traditional style Japanese houses, has its origins within the earlier Muromachi period and continued to be redefined during the Momoyama period. Osaki Hachimangu is a Shinto shrine in Aobaku, Sendai, Miyagi, Japan, and is a fine example of a Momoyama architecture. According to the Street Fighter II instruction manual, the Susaku castle is Ryo's dojo, where he lives and trains. The platform built in the outside courtyard serves as a fighting area, specifically for the Street Fighter tournament. This would also serve as Ken's secondary stage, since he also trained here alongside Ryu under Goken's teachings. This is also considered to be Akuma's stage, since he along with his brother Goken were also taught at or around that area. Ultra Street Fighter 2, The Final Challengers, even lists Susaku's castle as Akuma's stage. We can see the Susaku stage in other franchises such as SNK vs Capcom, The Match of the Millennium, Street Fighter Online, Mouse Generation, Street Fighter X, All Capcom, and my personal favorite, Super Smash Bros. The Susaku Castle stage is one of the most popular Street Fighter stages for a reason. Its architectural design and landscape is inspiring and beautiful to see. By its architectural design, we can be submerged in its Japanese culture and heritage. To gather information, we're going to start with Ryo's speed. He's quite fast if we take into consideration the fact that he can dodge bullets without any effort. This information is based on the Street Fighter Alpha anime movie. According to wonderpolice.org, in their article, How Fast Can a Bullet Travel? It states that when a bullet flies through the air, they do so at amazing speeds. The fastest bullets travel more than 2,600 feet per second. That is equivalent to over 1,800 miles per hour. To put that in perspective, it's amazing to realize that bullets travel over twice the speed of sound. Hussein Bolt, currently the fastest man alive, can max out at 12.27 meters per second, not even close in range with the velocity of the firing bullet. You'd have to factor in reaction time as well. The human brain is fast, but not fast enough. Not for the task you set before it anyway. So it's a pretty amazing skill Ryu has mastered. Another example of Ryu's speed can be traced in his famous Satsumaki Sepunkyaku. According to the website phonia.com and their article name demonstrate scientifically that Ryu from Street Fighter is faster than Usain Bolt, it states that a university study concludes that to perform the famous helicopter, you need a speed of 108 kilometers per hour. Ryu needs a speed of 67 miles per hour, almost 108 kilometers per hour, to make its flagship technical Satsumaki Sepunkiago, more known in Spain as the helicopter. That is the conclusion of a university work conducted by the British in the year 2015. The student, as stated by this website, did this work while studying engineering at the University of Leicester, and his goal was to calculate if it were possible that a human being could do that movement and, in that case, what would be the physical requirements to achieve this. He estimated that for a human being to be able to stay floating in the air, performing that movement, should be performed at 30 meters per second. In comparison, the great sprinters in 100 meter dash achieve peak speed of over 40 kilometers per hour, so that Ryu is more than two times faster than all of them. In strength, Ryu is well known to be a strong-willed character. Ryu's power comes from his years of training and unwillingness to give up. While training with Oro, Ryu manages to do an amazing feat that even surprised Oro himself. In a demonstration of Ryu's strength in that story, Ryu can lift a boulder while Oro sitting on top of the boulder. The estimated weight of the boulder is said to be over 48 tons. According to an interesting post we found on Quora, Antonio Fur broke the math down and calculated numbers on the weight Ryu had when carrying that boulder. 48 tons is the equivalent of 96,000 pounds, which is pretty heavy. To put it into consideration with the strongest man, Hathor Jornson, the Game of Thrones actor set the world record in deadlifting at 1,104 pounds, according to The Guardian, which is not even close to the strength Ryu has in his arsenal. Ryu can go hand-to-hand -hand with Akuma, 
Akuma is known to be very powerful, to the extent of stopping a meteor with a punch. In Akuma's ending in Street Fighter, he manages to break an island with his power. Even though it is in his Oni phase in the Asura's Wrath installment, Akuma also manages to split a moon in half. If you add it all up, Ryu is a very strong individual, having the ability to withstand the strength of a character of that magnitude and still go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Akuma. That alone is an amazing example of the strength that Ryu possesses. Ryu's standard special attacks are the Hadouken, generally referred to as the Fireball, the Shoryuken or Dragon Punch, and the Satsumaki Sebunkyaku or Hurricane Kick, in which we talked about earlier. The basic type of Hadouken is a surging punch in which a fighter's willpower is utilized to focus energy into and through the palms. As the palms are thrust outwards towards the target, a surging energy wave is expelled that results in a punching force traveling through the air in the opponent's direction. According to the Street Fighter 2 official fan book, the Hadouken is said to be as warm as normal body temperature, contrary to popular belief that it is a fireball. Depending on its practitioner, its force of impact varies. This gives an opening to Ryo's true power with its Hadouken. Since the Hadouken can't be measured systematically, we can assume that the Hadouken's strength has the potential for further growth, thus making Ryo's Hadouken unknowingly powerful. The Shoryuken is primarily used as an anti-air move. However, with some practice, it is possible to use it to counterattack almost any move. In the Street Fighter 2 series, the Shoryuken is almost completely invincible while rising, meaning it can pass through projectile attacks, potentially striking the recipient in the act of throwing them. It is also rumored on blogs that Ryu might be a Revenant. A Revenant is a person who has returned, especially supposedly from the dead. If he is really a Revenant, his powers become godlike, since he isn't even born. Here in the Street Fighterverse, we have a video that goes in detail on Ryu's theory. You are welcome to check it out. I will leave the link in the description box below. Ryu's dedication to the arts have granted him the ability to become one of the greatest and strongest characters in the Street Fighter universe. His objective is to always do better, to be a greater fighter than from what he is now. I cannot imagine how powerful Ryu is going to get in the future. Definitely something to be on the lookout for. So I ran into this blog online called Main Street. This is a blog created by Stephen Main. This blog is about Street Fighter theories and such. I will leave the link in the description, so make sure to check out this stuff. While I was reading this blog, he had one article that really caught my attention. The title of the article is named The Truth About Ryo's Parents. In this article, he shares some points that make a lot of sense regarding the beginnings of Ryu in the Street Fighter series. Steve Main quotes, Ryu's past is shrouded in mystery. He was orphaned as a child, and nothing has been stated by Capcom officially about Ryu's parents. We know that Goken raised him like a son, and Ryu looks up to Goken as a father figure. There have been non-canon works, primarily the animated movie Street Fighter Generations and the live-action Street Fighter Assassin's Fist that seem to go off the idea that a woman named Sayaka is the mother of Ryo and that Akuma could possibly be his father. It's an interesting theory, and one Capcom could certainly explore in the future. However, based on canon in-game evidence, there is something far greater at work here that Street Fighter is greatly leaning towards, something that dwells into the supernatural and an urban legend comes to life. Most of us who follow the lore know about this theory. Even though it came from an outside source, it can be possible that Sayaka might be Ryu's mother. We can take in consideration that Ryu didn't really have to train for the Satsui no Hado. We can argue that he might have been born with this power inside of him, Sayaka, in both animated and live action adaptations of Street Fighter, was in a relationship with Akuma. After the events of Gotetsu, follows his path, leaving Sayaka and Goken behind. Sayaka then leaves Gokens while pregnant. Who can the child be? It gets interesting in Main's theory of the truth about Ryu's parents, and he states, In Street Fighter 2, it was revealed that Ryu's stage was Susaku's castle, and as the years went on, Ryu was shown to not only train there, but live there as well. It is his home, 
one he grew up with Gogen, as his mentor and father figure. After Akuma had seemingly killed Gogen, Ryu buried his mentor at Susaku Castle as well, tending to his grave due to the immense respect he held for him. Gogen was resurrected in Street Fighter 4, revealed to merely be unconscious for a long period of time. It seemed like a questionable way to bring Ryu's mentor into the game, as it was established for years that Gokin had died. However, looking deeper into the symbolism of Susaku Castle, we can see that it was actually a great way to bring him back without putting in too much of a lore-breaking retcon. Suzaku is one of the four symbols in Japan. The four symbols, also known as the four beasts, Asura Dragon, White Tiger, Vermilion Bird, and Black Turtle. What makes Suzaku special is that, being the Vermilion Bird, it has been represented in stories around the world under different names. The most famous story, perhaps, is the story of the Phoenix, a bird that died on a pyre and was resurrected from its flames. Keeping this story in mind, we can assume that Susaku Castle is a symbol of resurrection. Gokin's return in Street Fighter 4 encapsulates the ethereal properties of Susaku Castle. However, it is not his revival that truly parlays Susaku's castle mystical ambience. It's Ryu's. Wait, you say, Ryu hasn't died in the game? Now if you mean he had a spiritual awakening, I could see that. No, I generally mean that Ryu has already died once. It was never shown in-game, and is the main reason why Ryo has no memories of his past. He does not recall his parents because he never had parents to begin with. Ryo is a revenant. Main indicates resurrection coming from the forms of the story of the phoenix, stating the similarities of Ryo's place of origin as a symbol of resurrection. It all ties up to Ryo being some form of entity that might have resurrected and was placed in this earth with no known origin. As Maine says, a revenant. So, what is a revenant? Webster's Dictionary defines revenant as one that returns after death or a long absence. In folklore, a revenant is an animated corpse that is believed to have revived from the death to haunt the living. The word revenant is derived from the old French word revenant, the returning. He returns from where exactly? Main indicates that the Susaku Castle is very similar to the Matsue Castle in Japan. There is a legend within the castle's foundations of the Matsue Castle of a human sacrifice of a girl who liked to dance, known as the Maiden of Matsue. She later became a ghost who would shake the foundations of the castle when any girl danced on the castle. Main quotes, In Buddhist belief, life and death is the never-ending cycle of reincarnation and becoming a ghost meant that you were reincarnated as a Prita. Prita are ghosts who have an insatiable hunger for something. In Japan, a Prita is known as a Gaki, or hungry ghost. The term Gaki is also known as a term relating to spoiled children, which could be a clue as to why the maiden of Matsue was likely reincarnated as a ghost. She could have been a brat when she was alive. Is there proof that Capcom adapted the maiden of Matsue legend into Street Fighter as well? It depends on what you look at. Officially, Capcom has never outright stated the significance of Susaku Castle in the game, outside of the fact that Ryu and Gogen lived there. That being said, they must have known about the legend when they put the Matsue Castle XP into the game, considering it's been around for some time. They just had no room lore-wise to expand on it. If we assume that this is the case, and we assume that Capcom adapted the legend into Street Fighter's lore behind the scenes, then we can finally understand Ryo's mysterious past. Ryo is the maiden of Matsue, brought back to life. Stephen Main suggests that the spirit of the little girl reincarnated in Ryo, thus the reason why Ryo does not remember his parents or his early beginnings. We can also interpret from Main's final words, referring to the similarity with the maiden of Matsue dancing and Ryo's fighting. They both require flawless physical ability, Dexterity and Stamina. Amazing Theory by Stephen Main. I welcome you to check out his blog, Main Street, from the mind of Stephen Main. It's super amazing. I will leave the link in the description down below. What is your favorite part of this theory? The reincarnation of a little girl to Ryu? Originally appearing in the 1996 Street Fighter Zero manga, 
Evil Ryu was first included as a playable character in the Street Fighter Alpha 2. Satsui Ryu is a Japanese name meaning Killing Intent Ryu, or Dark Ryu. When Ryu succumbs to Satsui no Hado, he takes on this form. In defeating the Satsui no Hado, Ryu was able to purge his evil side, but he brought forth an even more formidable adversary. The Alpha series gave him a black headband as well. Evil Ryu first appeared as a palette swap of Ryu wearing a dark purple or black G. Additionally, his hair and skin had dark hue. One of these characteristics is the size of the hole in his chest. Have you ever wondered why he has a gigantic hole in the center of his chest? Well, there are three versions of how this happened. According to some sources, it might be based on the manga by Masahiko Nakahira, the author of Evil Ryu. Capcom seems to be honoring Masahiko Nakahira from Street Fighter Alpha manga, as well as the famous Ryu final manga, in which Ryu nearly gets killed in battle against Sukuma where the latter punches through Ryu's chest. This is not the first time Capcom borrows ideas from Nakahira-san's manga. Masahiko Nakahira is a manga artist from Kochi City. He is best known for his numerous manga adaptations of the popular fighting game series Street Fighter. Two of Nakahira's original concepts for his Street Fighter manga, the character of Iwo Ryu and Karin Gansuki, were adapted into later video games. The hole on Iwo Ryu's chest may be also linked to his master Gogen and Akuma. In his ending for Street Fighter 4, Goken knocked Ryu out with a series of blows. That seal was placed by Goken in order to prevent Ryu from using Satsui no Hado. In Street Fighter 4, Akuma finally arrives and finds Ryu lying on the ground and acknowledged that Goken has no legitimate right to seal Ryu's power. In Evil Ryu's Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition ending, it shows the sphere in his chest break symbolizing the Satsui no Hado with Ryu breaking free of the seal Goken made, which also means Goken horribly miscalculated how powerful Ryu's Satsui no Hado truly was. It also seems Ryu had no control over the Satsui no Hado. He attacks anything like a wild animal. Evil Ryu's appearance in Asura's Wrath is another possibility for explaining Evil Ryu's hole in its chest. In Ryu's guest appearance in Asura's Wrath, Asura launches Ryu into the moon from Earth and attempts to impale him with his fist. After he returns to normal, the scar disappears. He is cold, conceited, and driven by his need for dominance in the Street Fighter Alpha games. As a character in the Super Street Fighter 4, he has more demonic traits, while he shows some emotion. His anger has been purged from him, leaving only sociopathic attributes, even more so than M. Bison. He enjoys absolute power, and lacks any sort of empathy or respect, and despises what he perceives as weakness from all of humanity, such as love, family, justice, and vengeance. He is also extremely brutal towards other fighters in general, especially to those that oppose him. Interestingly, his pre-fight and when quotes again Ken indicates that he still retains a minor degree of politeness to his former friend, as opposed to the brutal and vicious statements he makes to everyone else, including Gogen. Evil Ryu also refers to himself as heartless and nothing more but a demon and will seek out and murder any opponent in a fight, regardless of their age and condition. He displays a very dangerous bloodlust, even borderline sadism, and ritualistic belligerence that almost borders on cannibalism, as seen in many of his pre-fight and win quotes. During Street Fighter Alpha 2, Akuma was able to sense the Satsui no Hado laying dormant within Ryu. Ryu vowed to reject the Satsui no Hado, but it wasn't enough to completely eliminate the Satsui no Hado as it still resided within him. Thus, it must be noted that Evil Ryu does not exist as a separate character, though it is naturally possible in some games, such as the home versions of Capcom vs SNK 2, Mark of the Millennium 2001, and some versions of the Street Fighter Alpha 3, for the player to include both normal Ryu and Evil Ryu in a battle, sometimes on the same team. In Street Fighter 4, the ties that bind, Evil Ryu appears during the scene with Ryu in the desert for a split second, in response to Akuma's speech about taking lives and getting stronger. He appears later on, just after Sea Viper finishes mauling Kami in front of Ryu's eyes, in order to awaken his power. He is then taken over by the Satsui no Hado, and loses control of his actions, and he begins fighting Sea Viper, who had underestimated the dangerous power of the Satsui no Hado, and states that he was too powerful to be captured in his current state. Ken and Sakura suddenly arrived in the scene by car, which then distracted Evil Ryu, allowing Sea Viper the chance to retreat back to the SIN headquarters via her jet boots by leaping off a cliff. However, Evil Ryu ignored Ken's pleas to stop and began destroying SIN equipment and chasing down the personnel relentlessly. Two of the remaining agents began firing at Evil Ryu with their handguns, only for their bullets to bounce off him, 
causing them to panic and run. One of the fleeing agents falls and sees Evil Ryu quickly approaching him. Sakura grabs Evil Ryu by the arm from behind and tries to push him back. He raises his arm to attack Sakura, but stops as he gazes at her face and then reverts back to normal and collapses into his knees, starring in a slightly catatonic state as he was realizing what he was about to do next. These three versions mentioned before might give you guys an insight of what happened to Ryu. Similar to Oni from Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition, Kage resembles and is inspired by the Japanese folklore of an Oni as Ryu's is embodiment of his darker half. This draws parallels to the demons known as Amano Jeku, being inner demons that instigates individuals into committing evil and wicked deeds. It is described to be a being with an extremely contrary nature. If they were ordered something, they would do the opposite. In religion, the Amano Jaku is commonly held to be derived from the Amano Sakume, a wicked deity in Shinto mythology, which shares Amano Jaku's contrary nature, an ability to see into a person's heart, a very perverted demon. Within the themes of Destiny, Street Fighter V presents, Kage fully represents the corporeal and tangible source of Ryu's potential for evil that Ryu must finally face. Kage is sadistic and wrathful, just like evil Ryu, and usually tries to threaten those he meets. It is apparently the reason why Kage would be the strongest part of his former host, and the reason he bested Sagat, and it is the reason why he may have defeated Akuma. He enjoys the fear of the opponents he defeats, as shown in some of his win quotes. Kage, however, is well aware that he appears to need a host in order to avoid disappearing, and is visibly distressed and afraid to see Ryu not affected by his influence. The physical appearance of Kage is similar to that of Ryu in that both appear to be about the same height, although Kage has considerably darker skin tone and appears to possess a higher degree of muscle. The red illumination of Kage's eyes is accompanied by his black sclerae, and he is similarly surrounded by a permanent dark ring. Kage should not be confused with evil Ryu. The former is the physical manifestation of the Satsui no Hado dwelling within Ryu, and taking Ryu's appearance as his likeness. The latter is the form that Ryu himself takes if he ever succumbs to the Satsui no Hado. In Street Fighter V, Ryu is shown meditating at a dojo in the middle of a storm, with the only source of light coming from a lit candle. As the storm grows stronger and lightning begins to flash, Ryu's shadow on the wall, caused by the candle, takes the shape and form of Kage, urging Ryu to give in to the Satsui no Hado, and claims that, without it, Ryu is nothing but an empty shell. The scene then shifts similar to the first fight between Ryu and Sagat, with Ryu having been replaced by Kage. The two fight and Kage easily pummels Sagat. However, the latter is not pleased as the one who beat him is not the same man as the one he is looking for. Kage disappears abruptly, with Sagat acknowledging what Ryu is dealing with. Following his fight with Sagat, Kage then manifests behind Akuma, who briefly thought it was Ryu before realizing it was a soulless silhouette before him. Kage taunts Akuma and the two fight. Believing he had won, Kage taunts Akuma that the latter's law of heaven holds him back. However, unlike Sagat, Akuma is nowhere near badly beaten, and then mocks Kage, claiming that it would never understand, as it merely thinks of only strength and fighting, before delivering a Hoten Seikengeki punch to Kage, making him disappear. Afterwards, Akuma wonders if Kage is the path Ryu has truly chosen. Transitioning back to the initial scene, Kage then angrily insults Ryu and forcibly attempts to corrupt him. Ryu replies that, although he would not deny Kage's existence, he cannot accept that they are one and the same and that he, Ryu, wouldn't be fighting back. The two fight at the top of Susako Castle, with Ryu claiming that he isn't fighting to win, but that he isn't fighting to lose either. After Kage beats Ryu and mocks Ryu one last time, Ryu dismisses it and says Kage can do whatever it wants. If it wants to corrupt Ryu, then it may. If it wants to leave, then it may leave. Kage is distraught and confused, asking why Ryu isn't afraid. Kage then vanishes, as Ryu is no longer affected by the influence of the Satsui no Hado, having nullified and overcome the Satsui no Hado by tapping into the power of nothingness. For clothing, Kage wears a dark blue G, with the top ripped off and left hanging around the legs, leaving his upper half completely bare aside from his red headband, which now hangs loosely around his neck. Kage's hair retains the color of Ryu's, but is longer and spikier, and he has a pair of small horns that glow purple. When struck by electric attacks, it is shown that the horns are part of the skull itself. Kage has a prominent underbite, and his lower canines are greatly elongated to form sharp tusks. Some part of Kage's body bears open holes, similar to Onis' second alternate costume. When hit by focus attacks, only smaller. 
revealing purple Satsui no Hado energy within his body. He wears gloves identical to Ryuzu's, though a darker shade of red. An early concept art reveals Kagas' true form might or was supposed to be nothing, but all covered in shadow. The shadow demon himself with few essence from those of Ryuzis, such as his iconic red headband. Kagis's fighting style is a derivative of the Anatsuken style, practiced by several other Street Fighter characters. As Kage is the corporeal form of the darkness purged by Ryu forsaking the Satsui no Hado, it uses the more lethal variations of the form akin to Akuma. In many ways, Kage is like Oni, in that he represents the very zenith of the style, without boundaries or humanity whatsoever, but also lacking the proper form or style that the more controlled practitioners maintain. Kage's moveset contains the Anatsuken staple, the Hadoken and Shoryuken. Kage's version of the Hadoken sees him thrust one palm forward and create an energy splash directly in front of him, similar to the Kadoken that does not travel away from him. Instead of the standard Satsumaki Sebun Kyaku, Kage has a move called the Kurekijin that sees him travel forward while is swinging his back leg around in a single horizontal arc, as opposed to multiple rotations. In order to start answering the question, is Akuma Ryuzu's father? We first have to dig into his early story. In his early years, Akuma and his brother Goken were students of a master martial artist named Gozetsu. Kozetsu had trained them under his dojo, teaching him his martial arts skills. These martial arts skills composed elements of judo, genpo, and karate in his training. While under his wing, Kozetsu took care of his niece named Sayaka, which shared the same living quarters as Akuma and Goken. Sayaka had a timid stance and was a sympathetic human being. She helped with the endeavors of her uncle and his students Goki and Goken. She encouraged the brothers to pursue diverse interests and hobbies like photography and English, as a side of their training. She has even teach them calligraphy in their free time from training. It is noted that Sayaka had particular feelings towards Goki. In the movie Street Fighter Assassin's Fist, we see a glimpse of the relationship between Goki and Sayaka. Great, right? This scene shows another side of Goki, a more loving and compassionate side. Now, a while after the calligraphy class, Goki leaves abruptly, writing Metsu in his paper. Metsu in translation means destruction, signifying to both Sayaka and Goken the secrets of the Satsui no Hado, delved into Goki's core, greatly progressing and consuming his being. During a training fight between Goken and Goki, that Goki lost, Goki lost his temper and tried to kill Goken. Goken reversed his attacks and was about to kill him with the Hadoken if it hadn't been for Sayaka, who stood in the way, making Goken cease charging the projectile. Shortly afterwards, while Goki is being scolded by Gotetsu, Sayaka tries to intervene, but Goken prevents her. As a result, she goes to Goki's room to wait for him. After Goken is called in, Goki is told by Gotetsu to pack his belongings and leave the dojo. Sayaka attempts to convince him to stay, saying that she will talk to her uncle about changing his mind, but Goki refuses. He recognizes that Sayaka is attracted to him, but tells her that he must pursue his training in the ways of the Satsui no Hado above all else. He kisses her goodbye, saddened. She stays in the room after he leaves it, and is soon found by Goken, who she is angry at for not defending his brother. When Goki begins leaving the dojo grounds, Sayaka runs to catch up with him, to give him a basket of food for his journey, and a piece of paper with the kanji symbol, heaven, written upon it, symbolizing his quest for immortal glory. This is the infamous kanji symbol that glows in the back of Akuma after his raging demon attack is unleashed. A year passes and Sayaka longs for Goki's return, but Gotetsu notices this and tells her to stop her infatuation as it is hindering Goken's training. After Gotetsu dies at Akuma's hands, Sayaka finds little reason to stay at the dojo and departs in the night, leaving Goken and Senzo. She isn't seen again. As time passes by, a small child is left in front of Goken's dojo. Goken adopted it and trained the young kid, Ryu. In the Street Fighter generations, and as stated by fandom, Sayaka is first seen tending to Goki's wounds after he loses a fight to Goken. Later on, Sayaka hears Goki and Gotetsu arguing about the use of the Satsu no Hado. After Goki leaves the room, Sayaka fails to persuade Goki to consider Gotetsu's warnings, then begins to worry about him when he appears to be in pain. Due to abusing the Satsui no Hado, Goki becomes Akuma and fights Gotetsu. Sayaka, being aware of this, turns to Goken for help. Sayaka is unable to keep up with Goken 
as she is nauseous and then vomits due to it. This is all but stated to be morning sickness, giving a subtle hint that indeed Sayaka was pregnant, in which most likely she was bearing Akuma's child. Could Ryu be Sayaka's son? Well, if we follow the chain of events and tie the life of Sayaka and Goki before his encounter with the Satsui no Hado, this might tell us that yes, Ryu could be their son. They share many common traces. Sayaka's temperament is very much like Ryu's timid and sympathetic nature. Calligraphy is most present in Ryu's stage signs and also in part of his clothing. Out of all of the places in the world that a kid could have gone to, he ends up in Gogen's dojo. Due to the Street Fighter Alpha Generations and Street Fighter Assassin's Fist movies, it is believed by some that Akuma is Ryu's father. However, these movies as well as other Street Fighter movies are non-canon to the series, which takes away the validity of the process. Despite the fact that some say that it is not canon, we like the idea, since it makes sense that Akuma would be Ryu's father. The Satsui no Hado was not something Ryu actually had to train for, not that he wanted to, but we believe Ryu was born with a power that lay dormant since he was an infant. His mother, Sayaka, she was in a relationship with Goki in both the animated adaptation and live action version of the Street Fighter. After many conflicts, Goki challenged and killed his master, Gozetsu leaving Sayaka and Goken to grieve as he sank into darkness. Over time, Sayaka departs Goken while pregnant with evidentially her child, Ryu. We are amazed that Capcom hasn't covered it more. Having no idea who he is, a pure demon trying to get through the power of his son, and the warrior seeking to overcome that power and defeat his father who killed his master slash uncle, who might have been trying to prevent Ryu from learning the truth about his past. It is said that officially, Kuma is Ryu's adoptive uncle. It may be an official saying, but there are so many variants as to why Ryu is Akuma's legitimate son. But then again, if it's in the books that way, I guess we have to go with the creator's decision as to where the real origin of Ryu lies. The power of nothingness is also known as the Moon Noken in Japanese. It is also known as the Kiyosui no Hado meaning surge of mindless intent, or the sacred Hado. It is a light-based energy force used by Goken, Ryu, and to a certain extent, Ken Masters. The power of nothingness is a state of consciousness transcending ordinary perspective, born through spiritual and mental refinement, bearing common traits with states of being with Buddhism, martial arts and spiritual perfection, it is the power to act without being attached to emotions and thought, free of fear, anger, pride, and ego. To draw upon the contents of one's heart intuitively, without obstacle and hesitation, and to be aware of the world and to know one's place and meaning within its vastness. To flow with all of creation without the need of worry, desire, and doubt. It is the complete opposite of the Satsui no Hado. As such, it can only be used by a person of pure mind compassion, mercy, and peace. Such a person must have embraced the peaceful and spiritual aspect of the art to their fullest extent. Just like the Satsui no Hado, it makes a person unbelievably powerful, granting invincibility, spiritually and physically, to many attacks, as well as sealing off evil power and making the user a stronger fighter. Goken has practiced with this power throughout his years of training with Gotetsu, and after he had completed his training and left his master to begin with his own dojo. He is the only one who has used this power in battle in the games, as shown by his Shin form. Shin can be written using different kanji characters and can mean true, extend, or new. Ryu and Ken have awakened this power, but only Ryu has mastered it as of the events of Street Fighter V, capable of using it to render his soul incapable of consumption by Nikali and capable of defeating M. Bison's psycho power. The psycho power is a negative psychotic and evil energy that increases the user's abilities, strength and stamina. Psycho power feeds off the fear, anger and the hatred of others. This energy can also affect the skin, body color, eyes and hair of people. At the ending of A Shadow Falls, there's an implication that Ryu had mastered the power of nothingness as the Hadouken used to defeat M. Bison gives off an aura seemingly consistent with the power. Ryu identifies the power of nothingness, not as the power to defeat one's enemies, but as the power to grow in skill, completely distinct from the Satsui no Hado. In Street Fighter Assassin's Fist, 
The power of nothingness is one of the central concepts to the Street Fighter Assassin's Fist. Having seen what the Satsui no Hado did to his brother, and believing that there must be another way to tap into the chi needed for the Anatsuken, Goken travels the world. Years later, he explains to his students that during his travel, a kung fu master named Jen set him on the path to unlocking the power of nothingness. And it is this power that Goken teaches them to tap into for their arts, completely altering the school's tradition. The idea that Jen showed the path to this power to Goken, as proposed by Street Fighter Assassin's Fist, would explain how both were able to survive Akuma's Shun Goku Tatsu. The game storyline explains that both were able to empty their soul in time. Emptying oneself of everything takes extreme discipline. However, they express disbelief that it can be done instantaneously in the middle of battle. Ryu mentions that his chi in his state feels cool, while Ken state that he feels hot. In early training, Ken seems to be stimulated by following a particular meditative kata, which presents more difficulty and less speed of progress than following another kata, which stimulates the Satsui no Hado, but it's pure. Kata is a Japanese word meaning form. It refers to a detailed choreographed pattern of martial arts movements, made to be practiced alone. It can also be reviewed within groups when training. It is practiced in Japanese martial arts as a way to memorize and perfect the movements being executed. In the Udon comic book series, Street Fighter Unlimited, Ryu enters a state he calls Shinryu by merging the Satsui no Hado with the power of nothingness, bringing balance to his light and his dark chi. As Shinryu, he was able to finally defeat Ikuma. Ryu's appearance in this form is mostly the same. The only noticeable changes are to his left eye, which glows red, as well as the occasional flare of a red and blue aura. The power of nothingness is the inverse of the Satsui no Hado, also known as the surge of murderous intent, or surge of killing intent, sometimes translated as the Dark Hado. It is a dark, energy-based force that is known for its use by Akuma. For the people who do succeed in harnessing the Satsui no Hado, they become extremely powerful, but at the cost of losing their humanity and compassion. They developed a cold, negative outlook in life, a nihilistic detachment from themselves, as well as other people, and develop an obsessive, dark, murderous, and even suicidal desire to fight. What the Satsui no Hado is rarely gets talked about in the mainline games. However, it is described as taking the spirit to kill the opponent to the extreme. It transforms into a physical power. According to Seth in Street Fighter 4, The Ties That Bind, his definition of the Satsui no Hado describes it as a power rooted in the darker natural basis of the human instinct, including competition, survival, to trample on, impose, and thrive over opposition, and the manifestation of destruction born out of conflict and fighting. The Satsui no Hado made its first debut alongside Akuma in Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. During the events of Street Fighter V, the Satsui no Hado within Ryu was being called out by the consumer of soul. In martial arts, the Dark Hado, as it appears in the Street Fighter universe, is a form of Chi. What is Chi? How does it work? Chi is the energy that is inside you and around you. It is the energy that you use to breathe, to eat, to talk. It is the energy that moves the waves in the ocean, the plants to grow. More than that, Chi is the energy that makes you and everything around you feel alive. Everyone manipulates their inner Chi. We see evidence of it when we breathe, when we talk, walk, eat. Any action you do can be considered a small manipulation of your Chi and the Chi around you. However, the use of this Chi in our daily life is managed inefficiently. For example, you might use more energy on running than walking. Proper management of this force needs balance, and that is where martial arts training comes in. In martial arts training, you can train to have a better control of the use of your chi. As you might know by now, chi is the energy you use to punch, kick, attack, and defend. This can be obtained by learning different types of postures and movements of any desired style of fighting art. Each style of martial arts is a form of how one uses its potential. 
without draining one's energy. In other words, using techniques that will require minimum energy with maximum potential. An example of a technique is the breaking of a wood plank with your palm in karate. Using your body's momentum to bring an opponent down in judo. You can see full-on experienced martial artists do repetitive moves like the ones mentioned without draining their energy supply. Even though an experienced martial artist can get to the level of focus and energy that is required, it still requires that his moves and forms be influenced by other emotions. Emotions in fighting is a double-edged sword. If a fighter cannot control its emotions, he is more bound to lose a fight than an opponent that has great balance between energy and emotions. Having conflicting emotions during a fight may take the fighter lose more energy on itself and its opponent. That is why it is important for a fighter to fully develop a balance between both the control of their movements and their emotions. Fully developing this balance, an experienced martial artist can then push the boundaries of its power. In the Street Fighter universe, extensive training of your chi can go beyond the human capabilities. For example, a fighter can use its own chi to draw energy from the earth. It can give the user ability to sense and absorb chi from its surroundings, use teleportation, float, fly, and throw it in like a form of a fireball-like punch, aka a Hadouken. This is where the Dark Hado comes into play. To get a better understanding, the Dark Hado, or in Japanese, the Satsui no Hado, is a dark possessed surge of power that is deeply rooted into the person's instinct of survival and in position over its opponent. It is the desire to use hatred and rage to feel victory in battle. The Dark Hado is beneficial in tapping the most obscure power available. It is also very lethal for an untrained mind to handle the capabilities of such power. Such as why the dilemma facing Ryu, in which he does not want to be consumed by this type of power. His training is based on the concept of meritorious intent and the power of nothingness, which is not having any strong feeling towards your opponent. It's based on developing oneself as a martial artist and a human being. This practice focuses on emptying your mind and controlling your energy in fight to inflict as little as damage possible to your opponent. The total opposite of what the Dark Hado requires. For the fighters who succeed in controlling the Dark Hado type of power and becoming powerful, changes in their outlook on life appear. Loss of human empathy and compassion, rise in negativity, dark and obsessive nature of murderous intent. Under the Dark Hado's influence, a character's eyes will glow red, and their teeth will turn into sharp fangs as the body of their skin darkens over time. Their hair will also turn red to white, and their nails will turn into claws. The voice of the character will become deeper. If one embraces it to a lesser degree, their eyes will glow blue. If one balances the Dark Hado and the power of nothingness, the character would be in complete control and balance of its power. However, if one has used it to their fullest extent for too long, they cannot be released from its hold and will transform into a supernatural entity, becoming one with the Dark Hado. Once a character is in this state, a union between hatred and fighting technique will create an aura of destruction, leaving all human feelings of compassion and empathy behind technically becoming a demon-like figure. The Dark Hado character, who wields this power, has also the special ability to talk and speak with others telepathically, gain a healing factor, manipulate the soul of an individual, and can even control the weather. We can understand that the Dark Hado is the ultimate weapon in the Street Fighter universe. While some characters want to embrace its total power, other characters like Ryu tend to go a different route. Certainly, we can see the Dark Hado as a powerful weapon, used on the principles of hatred and destruction. But the Satsui no Hado is just a state of mind. It is a form of how powerful our mind and emotions are. I see it as a symbol of the power that lies in you. That when used to its maximum effect, it can produce outstanding results. I think if managed in a balanced state like Gotetsu, one can withhold its power without being consumed by its evil force. In this episode, we have discussed the essence in martial arts of the origins of the Dark Hado, translated in Chi, and how its power is born by the energy in you 
and around you. We also discuss the power and abilities that this force brings to the Street Fighter universe and the physical and mental changes of the Dark Hado. If you found this video informative and entertaining, don't forget to show your support by hitting the like button, sharing it with your fellow adventurers, and subscribing to our channel for more captivating content. This has been your host, welcome to the center stage.